everyone and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be my what's in my hospital bag video so I'm currently 39 weeks and three days pregnant I'm gonna be heading out to the hospital any day now so I thought I would go ahead and film this my bag is packed we got everything ready to go to show you guys what I'm taking with me if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Paula and I'm expecting my first baby now right now in March so I have a whole pregnancy journey playlist here on my channel if you want to check it out I will link it down below but without further ado let's go ahead and jump in all right so I have my bag here um, all packed up I'm basically taking a carry-on with me with all my things and I put my things in little packing cubes and that's what I love to do whenever I go on a trip or travel anywhere I always use packing cubes just because it saves me space so that's what I'm going to show you guys when I'm taking for myself, Ricardo already has his bag packed, but I'm not going to show you guys that. Um, and I also have baby's bag packed as well. So like his little, um, you know, outfits and things that I'm going to take for him as well. So I will show you guys that at the end. But I thought I would just kind of go through everything and show you guys what I'm taking with me. So I am a first time mom. I definitely want to be prepared. I don't know how long we'll be there, um, depending how everything goes. Um, I'll go ahead and start off. So these are the packing cubes that I use. And I got these off of Amazon. They're by the brand Pro Packing Cubes. And they're just great. I've used these for years and years. Um, I have the pink set and then Ricardo has a gray set. Um, he wasn't using one of his, so I ended up using one of his as well. Um, just because I like that size and I was already using my size of that one. So anyway, so I love these things. Um, I will link them down below so you guys can check them out. Okay, so for clothes, um, I am bringing several um, like nightgowns and like sleepwear and robe. So um, the first thing, of course, is a cozy robe. So I am going to be bringing um, this robe. I'm actually going to be bringing two robes. Um, one is like the one I plan to use the most, which is this black robe here from Target and it's by the stars above line and it has like this really really pretty like pink trimming on it and it has pockets and it's pretty long so I'm going to be using this one probably the most and I also have this other robe that I'm bringing and I think this one's more like for pictures if I do decide to do that um it's another one that I had but it's like this printed um, floral robe as well. I think I got this one at Marshalls. Um, so I'm going to bring those two robes and I definitely wanted to have a robe just to feel like comfortable in um, most likely you know postpartum after the baby's here um, you know if I have to get up to go to the restroom whatever I need to do I definitely want to have like a robe on hand. So for actual like pajamas, nightgowns, like comfy clothes, um, I have a couple. So I have a set also from Target from that same like little collection. I have a set which is like pants and a top and then I have like a nightgown. Um, so this is the nightgown that I'm going to bring which is looks like this. Super comfortable. I definitely wanted to take something that I could just pull on over and would have buttons that would be um, good to wear just for like easy access because I know they're going to be checking me and things like that. So I'm bringing this one and I'm bringing it in black just in case, you know, I get, I get stained or I leak or anything like that. I want to definitely have, um, you know, like a dark color on hand. Um, then I also have this set, which is a pair of like little capri pants, which are also by that same line, the stars above the black with the pink um, trim on it. And then the little top, and I ended up going with the short sleeve top. Um, I know they had like a long sleeve version and then a short sleeve version, but I got the short sleeve version just because I already had the long sleeve version of the nightgown. So, you know, just in case I get hot and stuff, but this one also has buttons, so it's easy access for like breastfeeding, things like that. So, those are like the two little pajamas that I'm bringing. Then I'm also bringing my going home outfit and for going home I really just wanted to have something really comfortable especially because it's not going to be a long drive whatsoever. We live like seven minutes from the hospital so it's literally going to be like a little short drive but I wanted to feel comfortable you know heading out of the hospital so I'm going to bring just a pair of sweatpants. Um, these are by the brand Fila I think yeah. Um, so they're just like comfortable little like sweatpants. I didn't want to bring like leggings or yoga pants or anything like that. I don't want to be super tight like in my abdomen area. I do plan to wear a waistband after. I'm already going to have that 
that's gonna be kind of tight so I wanted to have just like some comfy sweats and then I'm also bringing just like a comfy sweatshirt um, and I'm bringing this one that I showed in a Target haul um, back I don't remember a couple months ago but it says promoted to mama on it and I thought that was really cute comes in this really like pretty powder blue color I just wanted to be comfortable you know coming out of the hospital so that's my going home outfit now in this cube I also packed a towel so I'm going to be bringing this towel and this is actually like a body towel that has like velcro on it so like when you get out of the shower you can like put it on and have um, you know strap it on you in case you want to wash your face brush your teeth you know after you get out of the shower you don't want it like to slip or anything I love this one this one is from Target I got it a while back it's from Threshold and it has like a little pocket here too so I really like this one just because you can be hands-free while you're still like brushing your teeth washing your face whatever you need to do so I'm gonna bring this one just to feel comfortable I know they have towels at the hospital. I'm just going to bring this one just for personal preference. Okay, so in the next packing cube, I have like my undergarments, things like that. Um, I do want to mention that I'm going to be bringing my waistband. Now, I do plan to wear this, you know, after um, giving birth just to kind of help me suck everything in and all that. So, I got this one off of Amazon. It had really good reviews. Um, it has three parts to it, but I'm only going to bring two of them. It's like different sizes and stuff. So it looks like this, and I got it in the nude color. So I'm bringing this one, and then this one's a little bit thinner, and then they have like a thicker version, which I'm also going to bring. We'll see how I'm feeling afterwards, which one I want to use, but I do plan to wear one of those. Like I mentioned, I am bringing like nursing tanks, nursing bras. I'm bringing this nursing tank from um, Target, and this one is by the Auden brand, and you know, it has a little like nursing strap, so you can just like pull it down real quick. For breastfeeding which I think is great so I am bringing one in black um, and then I also have some nursing bras um, I think they're also by the same brand I want to say yeah um, so I'm bringing like a little black one a little like nude one and then I also have another one Soma um, that also that I'm also bringing that um, also has like this little strap so I'm gonna bring three of them just in case so okay and the last little um, packing cube I have some undergarments and then also some socks. So I have some pairs of like those non-slip socks. I got these at Target as well. I love these, they're like fuzzy and they have like the little grips on the bottom. Um, so I'm bringing two of these, like these um, striped like sage green and white ones and then these gray ones. These I think are like little like bears or something. Um, so I thought these were like super cute and comfy. So I'm bringing those. Then I also ordered these on Etsy, which I thought were so cute. Um, they say, if you can read this, I'm about to be a mom. So I'm going to plan to wear those during like labor and stuff. So they do have like a little bit of grip as well. So those are the socks that I'm bringing. And then I just brought like some undergarments just to have on hand. Now moving on to the next little cube. This is like my postpartum care kit type of um, a cube. So I have a lot of things to help me take care of myself after giving birth. I ended up purchasing the whole Freedom Mom postpartum kit. Now if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I will link it down below, but everybody seemed to recommend that little kit just because it comes with a ton of things to help you kind of heal, um, to heal after giving birth. So I ended up just taking everything out of the box because it is kind of bulky and I didn't want to bring like the whole box to the hospital and I put it in a packing cube. So I will show you what comes in it. So you basically get, um, a set of these little boy short briefs which are like disposable so they are like pads slash briefs in one um, so I'm bringing these because I definitely just want to have you know extra protection because I know there's gonna be a lot of like bleeding that happens after you give birth so I'm taking that it also comes with these um, these are cooling pad liners so they have witch hazel in them and they said they're supposed to help speed, speed up healing and reduce swelling and stuff so I'm taking that then they also come with these. So these are little ice maxi pads and I've heard like ice pads are like really good for, you know, helping you heal and help you feel better. So I'm taking that and I think it comes with four of these little um, ice pads and then also um, this healing foam to help as well. So there's kind of like a little like 
step-by-step -step process on the order that you should use all this in but basically if you use it all it's supposed to help you heal and help with the burning and the swelling and the you know all that another thing that i got that wasn't part of the kit but i heard a lot of good things about was this peri bottle um i've heard that they give you one at the hospital um i saw that this one was a little bit different though because everyone kept saying like this one has the little like um arch here to help but this is really good um for you know using the restroom after you give birth you know with um apparently you're supposed to use this like you know if you go pee or something and you just fill this up with warm water and it'll help you um not have that burning sensation so i'm taking that as well so we will see what i end up using i'll probably try everything out and hopefully it will help me heal um then i'm also bringing some tux um cooling pads here these are medicated cooling pads that are also supposed to help with healing so got all that in there um then i'm also bringing just some nursing pads so these are good for like you know after breastfeeding and stuff you know if you don't want to be like leaking all over your clothes and stuff you're supposed to stick these in your bra and it's supposed to help with that so i'm bringing just a couple of those here's the little like card that it comes with so you're basically supposed to you know after you use the restroom you pee you know you can use the peri bottle then you put on the postpartum underwear then the ice ice pads then the pad liners and then the foam is what you use um last so that's um the plan we will see how things go Aside from those, I'm also bringing some separate um, always um, like underwear as well, which is supposed to also be really good because I didn't want to do like the pads just because I heard there is a lot of bleeding and you know, it can get messy. So I'm going to try out the actual underwear from always. I'll link it down below as well. Right, so moving on, I am also going to be bringing some little sandals or little flip flops for the bathroom so you know taking showers and things like that i definitely want to have these on i don't want to slip um so i'm going to be bringing some of these um these are my hapianas that i love i wear these um all the time in the summertime and they're just so comfortable so i'm bringing those i'm also bringing some slippers just to have in the hospital these are a little bit old um, which i don't mind getting dirty or anything but they do have like the grips on the bottom which is great for the hospital. I do plan to bring like a pair of sneakers. I'm gonna actually wear those to the hospital and that way I can wear them home as well. So I will have those um, shoes as well. So those are like the three pairs of shoes that I, I'm planning to bring. All right, moving right along, I have my toiletries bag. And this is a Vera Bradley bag, which I love because it's like the type that you can just like swing open like that and hang. Um, but I have like different compartments in here. So in here I have body care, skin care, and hair care products. So for hair care, I am going to be bringing um, both my brush and my comb because when I take a shower, I like combing out my hair with my comb. And then when my hair's dry, I like using the brush. Then I'm also bringing some dry shampoo in case, um, you know, I need it. So I'm going to take that one, which is the Batiste dry shampoo in the, I think it's divine dark color. Hair care products that I'm planning to bring, of course, are shampoo and conditioner. I just got some little travel um, size ones. I'll actually use a full size Tresemme um, shampoo and conditioner of these just because they're really, really good. Um, but I found the little uh, travel size, so I'm bringing those. Then I'm also bringing a hair serum because whenever I do wash my hair, I do like using a hair serum. And this is a coconut miracle oil hair serum from Target. Um, I'm also going to bring some scrunchies, bringing a big scrunchie and then bringing a little hair tie as well. So I'm going to have those in there because I want to pull my hair up, it gets hot especially in labor, I'm sure. <laughs> then I'm also bringing a shower cap in case I, you know, wash my hair and I'm going to you know, just take a body shower next, the next day or something, I can have my shower cap. For body care, I do have a couple things. So for body care, I'm going to bring some body wash and this is just a travel size of the Olay Shea Butter Body Wash. I'm also bringing a lotion. I'm bringing this olive oil lotion, which smells so, so good. Um, this is by the brand Cody. Then I'm also bringing some deodorant, of course, and then I'm also bringing some nipple balm. This is an organic nipple balm. The hair is really good as well, so I'm going to pack that in there. Now moving on to skincare, of course, I'm going to bring my face cleanser. I love this stuff. This is great for just 
you know, clean, cleansing your face in the morning, and then also removing makeup. This is the Neutrogena Fresh Foaming Cleanser that I've used for years and years, so bringing that. I'm also going to bring some toner, which just helps, like, refreshing your face. Um, this is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Stress Control Toner. I'm also going to bring um, an eye makeup remover, just in case, you know, I do wear makeup and need to remove remove it. Then I'm also bringing a moisturizer. I'm bringing the Olay Complete Daily Moisturizer. This is the sensitive skin version with SPF in it. So that's what I'm bringing for skincare. I'm also going to bring some cotton balls because I like using this with my toner. I'm going to bring, of course, a little portable toothbrush, some um, mouthwash and some toothpaste, of course, all travel size. I'm going to have a razor. And I have these little like makeup remover wipes just in case I want to use just like a wipe instead of a cleanser. I'll have that in here as well. So that's what I have in my little toiletry bag. So the last packing cube in my bag contains all of my breast pump things. So my actual breast pump itself, all the like accessories and everything I need. Um, so I got one for my insurance and it's the Medela one. Um, it's this one here. This is what it looks like. It's the pump and style. I don't know how to use this just yet, but I do plan to meet with the lactation consultant at the hospital to, you know, get me all trained up on how to use this. But I, I thought it would be a good idea to bring mine with me just so she can kind of like show me how to use mine. Um, so that way when I go home, you know, I know how to use my exact one. So something else I'm going to bring is makeup. Now, I, you know, want to take, like, cute pictures and stuff with our baby, you know, afterwards. So I'm going to bring some just, you know, if we do photos and things like that, um, I'm going to bring my little makeup stash. So I'm going to bring, like, powder, mascara, concealer, bronzer, and blush, and eyeliner, and just have that with me just in case, you know, I want to, like, freshen up, feel good, and take pictures with baby. Um, another little thing we're bringing is, um, all of our, like, camera gear. So, I plan to bring my vlogging camera because I definitely want to document as much as I can. Remember this experience, like, this is, like, once in a lifetime type of thing and just going to be just a, one of the greatest moments of our life, if not the greatest. Um, so, I am bringing our vlogging camera. I'm also going to bring a little tripod. This little um, holder for like iPhone if I want to like film on my phone. Um, some SD cards of course. Another tech thing I'm going to bring is a charger. This is a 10 foot charger and I want to have this with me just because I don't know where the outlets are going to be in the room and I want to make sure to have like a long cord. Um, so going along with that I'm also going to bring an extension cord as well. I've heard a lot of people recommend to do that um, which has like you know different outlets. It has three outlets. So if we want to be charging like our phones, so Ricardo and I could be utilizing that at the same time. And then of course I'm going to bring my AirPods because these make it so easy to be like on the phone. You know, if I'm FaceTiming with the fam or something like that, I can have my AirPods with me and be like hands free. So those are all like the little tech things that I'm planning to bring with us to the hospital. Then I'm also going to bring my hair straightener because, you know, if I want to take pictures, do my hair, I can have my hair straightener and thankfully I can straighten my hair and curl my hair with this one um, tool, so that's going to be great. And I packed in my bag that I think I'm going to bring, I'm not quite sure, I, but I probably will bring, <laughs> um, is my diffuser. I plan to bring my diffuser and some essential oils just to have in the room for like labor time to help me like calm down and just kind of like, you know, make me feel good um, while I'm going through labor. Um, I heard, you know, some people do that and, you know, that it really helped them. So. I'm planning to do that. I just want to be as calm as I can. Okay, so now moving on to baby's things. Um, this is his little diaper bag, and I packed it with the things that I'm bringing for him. Um, so in here, I do have a little blanket that I'm bringing um, for him, and then also his coming home outfit, which I will show you. I actually showed this in our nursery tour video. This is his little newborn outfit, which is a little like cute little onesie, and then his little hat that has his name on it. And then I'm bringing his little nameplate for pictures. So I'm going to bring that along with a blanket just to have to wrap him up. So I'm bringing this little one, which is like a little like thermal type of onesie there. And then I'm also going to bring 
Um, just some plain, like, little white onesies. Also, um, some swaddles. So, I'm going to bring both just my muslin swaddles, which I'm going to bring a green one. And I'm also going to bring, like, a Velcro one here. So, this is, like, a Velcro one that has, like, a zipper on it as well. So, we'll see what he likes and, you know, what works for us. But I wanted to have those options. So, those are the ones that I'm going to bring for him. Also going to bring our little hush, our, like, little shush machine um, to help him sleep. We'll see um, if that works. But this one is by the brand Hush. And it has, like, three different um, white noise sounds. So, I'm going to bring that as well. And I also packed him some uh, little socks. So, I'm bringing a couple pairs, like, three different pairs of these his little socks in here. Along with um, three pairs of little mittens. So, you know, in case he was, you know, scratching himself, I could put those on him. And then I'm also going to bring some little caps as well um, for him to have. So I'm going to have those and then um, I'm also bringing a burp cloth. I also have on the side here, I do have some wipes and then some diapers. I know hospitals provide that sort of thing, but I'm going to have them in here just in case. That is what I'm bringing for him and then I'm also going to bring the breast front. Um, so I heard that this is really great for breastfeeding and just kind of giving you support. So I do plan to bring ours and one of my friends actually got me um, this breast friend and got me this cover which this cover is like um, really great because you can wipe it clean and so um, it's going to be really good for a baby and to bring that and, and lastly I'm also going to bring a blanket just to have um, during my stay there and just have like a little piece of home as well to be comfortable so I'm going to bring that and also one of my pillows alright guys so that was everything for my what's in my hospital bag video Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys brought to the hospital, what you used. I'll link some of these things down below in case you're interested as well. So make sure to check the description box. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Remember, you're all beautifully and wonderfully made. And I will see you in my next video.